Hello, my name is Justine Bowling. I am an intern at Blue Ocean Society for Marine Conservation. Welcome back to our weekly theme program. This week we are talking about ocean zones. So ocean zones are basically layers of the ocean at different depths. There are five zones in the ocean. These are the sunlight zone, which goes from zero meters to 200 meters, the twilight zone, which goes from 200 meters to 1,000 meters, the midnight zone, which goes from 1,000 meters to 4,000 meters, the abyssal zone, which goes from 4,000 meters to 6,000 meters, and the hadal zone, also known as the trench zone, goes from 6,000 meters to 11,000 meters. So we'll start at the top of the ocean and give more details about each one. So the sunlight zone goes from two from zero meters to 200 meters, and it is basically the top of the ocean. Plants and algae like it because they get lots of sun, so they can photosynthesize. Um, photosynthesis is when plants make energy from the sun's light. So because there are a lot of plants, there are many animals to eat those plants. The sunlight zone has the most amount of animals out of anywhere in the ocean, um, so it is the most biodiverse. So some examples of some sunlight zone creatures that we see First of all, we have plants of all kinds, whales. When we see whales at Blue Ocean Society, we see them in the sunlight zone. In fact, most animals that we see at Blue Ocean Society are from the sunlight zone. Then we have jellyfish, sharks, rays, fish of all kinds, and sea turtles. And the list does not stop there. It goes on and on. Um, the next zone is the twilight zone. The twilight zone goes from 200 meters to 1,000 meters. And this is where the deep sea starts. There is very little sunlight. It would be too dark for us to see down there. And because there's very little sunlight, there are no plants. Animals have adaptations so they know what is around them in the dark. Adaptations are things that some animals develop in order to better survive in their environment. So some examples of these creatures, we have great white sharks, jellyfish, some fish such as haddock, hermit crabs, clams, and starfish. The next zone is the midnight zone. This goes from 1,000 to 4,000 meters. There is absolutely no sunlight. Many animals create their own light to make up for the lack of light, um, and that is known as bioluminescence. Food is very scarce, so the creatures cannot be picky about what they're eating. Some midnight zone creatures include many species of octopus. This includes the Dumbo octopus. Um, there are some types of snails and blobfish. The next zone is the abyssal zone. The abyssal zone goes from 4,000 to 6,000 meters. It is very cold. Temperatures are close to freezing. The pressure is very high, so we would not be able to survive without being crushed. Very few animals can survive, but some can. Um, despite the very cold temperatures and the very high pressures. Some abyssal zone creatures include the anglerfish and the fang tooth. You may notice that as we go deeper in the ocean, there are fewer and fewer creatures. Um, that is very true. A lot of animals, it is pretty likely that they swim around for extended periods of time and rarely see other animals. So the next zone and the last zone is the hadal zone. So the hadal zone goes from 6,000 meters to 11,000 meters, and this includes deep trenches. So all the ocean's deep trenches are the hadal zone. More people have been to the moon than have been to the hadal zone. So very, very few people have ever seen the hadal zone. There are not many living things down here, and that is because of the complete darkness, the extreme freezing temperatures, and the very, very high pressures. So some hadal zone creatures, the very few creatures that can survive down here, include tube worms, snailfish, and amphipods of all kinds. Um, there are very few creatures down here, but there are some. So that concludes all of the ocean zones. Um, thank you for listening. As always, please visit our website for more information on how you can help marine organisms. Um, thank you for listening, and I hope to see you next week.